get free ride points, gift cards, and much more. And make sure to use the code MONK to receive an extra 50 points. Right, what's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, I'm playing some Blood Moon Twisted Fate here in the mid lane on the PBE. So the brand new skin for Twisted Fate, one of the four. And of course, I'm sure there'll be a comment making fun of uh, the four skins that are now out. Uh, so there's Blood Moon Twisted Fate. Uh, you might, you guys might have seen Blood Moon Twist. Uh, wow, Blood Moon Diana that I did recently. Uh, Blood Moon Talon is also a thing, and Blood Moon Jin. And I think we actually have a Blood Moon Jin on our team right now. So. Yeah, I'll soon be making a video with this skin here as well. I'm just starting off with Diana and Twisted Fate because they both have the splash arts available, whereas the other two, Talon and Jin, don't have that just yet. But yeah, we're playing as the Twisted Fate here in the mid lane, guys. Uh, let's just get in this brush here, make sure they're not invading us. And it looks like we're safe. Good, good, good. So yeah, you're truly playing that Twisted Fate mid. Also got TSM Tyler 2, not Tyler 1, of course, playing as our Yasuo top. Welk playing that Ramus Jungle, Ali Mew. And Winter Gore playing the Jin and Thresh dual lane, both also with the Blood Moon skins, so they're styling just like we are. And it's looking like we're against what I believe is the LeBlanc support. Actually, it might be LeBlanc mid, but I think it's support with Rengar top, Twitchy to carry Corky mid, and then Volibear jungle because they don't actually have a traditional support. But I see it as they're not going to put a Corky with Twitch bot lane. That just seems kind of dumb. Whereas LeBlanc can go with support items and just go for a kill lane and be kind of effective. So we'll see if I'm right. And it looks like I am. And that is always good to see. So we're going to get ourselves a few auto attacks of the minions here. Because it looks like Corky wants to push us in. And I'm not against being pushed in. But what I am going to prefer is to have it be pushed in slowly, not quickly. Because then we have a better time getting last hits at tower and stuff like that. So already 3 of 3, not too bad. He's also strong with 3 of 3. But uh, yeah, with Twisted Fate in the lane phase, I normally would recommend you just take it easy. Of course, if you get ganks or you can get your ultimate, you can make some roams and stuff. And that's always good. But as far as the 1v1 matchup goes, like unless it's a really free... Uh, 1v1 where you've just got a ton of items or your opponent's making a lot of mistakes. You normally don't really win those matchups uh, in the 1v1 portion of the game. So it's pretty nice just to farm for a bit. and pr It's probably the best way to go. And then once you get a few edges in your lead, uh, just, yeah, take those and roll with them. And luckily avoiding that Q there. And let's actually hit this up a little bit more. Just so we don't miss it to tower. Okay, and Corky's already backed off a little bit. Not sure where to, but we'll find out soon enough. And get ourselves some more minions here. Awesome. And uh, one thing I will mention here, guys, while we're certainly on the gameplay, that some of you may have noticed my Diana game and my Camille game that I posted recently, is yes, I am indeed very, very sick. I have a cold and it sucks, so my voice sounds a little bit different. But then again, a lot of people have told me in my previous recordings where I have been sick and my voice has sounded different, they actually prefer it. <laughs> because although there's the occasional uh, cough and sneeze here and there, which I will try and refrain from doing as much as possible. But of course, I'm not perfect and I am sick, so things might happen. So a little forewarning for that and you know, early apology for that. But uh, what I will say is some people actually like it because my voice gets a little bit deeper. So we'll see if that ends up being what you guys prefer or not. Uh, if it is, maybe I'll go lick some strangers' hands and get sick all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, of course. Uh, in an 18 CS here to his 17. Missed a few, but we are actually in the lead here. But not by a ton, and luckily avoiding that. And actually, Rams wants to come up with the gank already. I'm all for it. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, actually, use the blue card. All right. So we are, in fact, Reggie. But you know what? It's fine, because Rams didn't gank anyways. So we got some free damage onto Corky. Can't complain too much about that. But yeah, I was looking to get the gold card off just to set up the gank for Rammus. Couldn't quite do so. But that's okay. Get ourselves some more last hits. We already have a CS lead of 24 to 21. But then again, Corky has a lot more minions to kill than we do on the lane here. So he might just catch right back up. And I'm missing all of these. What is going on? It's okay, though. Maybe get some auto attacks in here. Oh, here we go. Nice bit of a combo. We saw that he missed the Q. And I knew there wasn't any last hits I needed to get at that moment in time. So I figured, hey, free opportunity to get some damage done. And I did exactly that. Not too bad. Oh, and I missed the siege. That's a feels bad man moment. And Ramus wants to gank, but like, yeah, never mind is right. He's under tower. Sick beats. I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. Is Thresh like dancing and making some music or something like that? That'd be that'd be cool. Uh, I think I should get a ward down here. I'm thinking Fall Bear might gank from bot side, but I think it's more likely he'll gank from top side. So I'll get a ward in this brush here, just so I have a bit of a warning in case he is ganking. And unfortunately, I'm gonna miss two of those minions. I was hoping to get one of them. But I ended up messing up one of them just because I was trying to get a different one. Alright, 21 to his 32. Yeah, the thing is with Twisted Fate as well is you do want to build a CS lead just like you would with any other matchup. But being down in minions is kind of expected just because he's not that threatening in lane. So it's very frequent that you'll just 
miss some because you're not really threatening your opponent. And I wonder if we can get a gold card on Corky. He's not going to let us have it. Yeah, but see, there wasn't any last hits I needed to get right that moment, so I was hoping to get a nice trade for us. Didn't quite happen, but that's okay. And he's getting aggressive here all of a sudden. I wonder if he's got Volibear around. All right, let's just get this minion here and pop a potion. Uh, one thing as well I will mention that's not really a big thing to mention, but I feel like I may as well because not really much else to say right now, is uh, they've actually changed on the PBE quite recently the icon for when a champion has vision of you. So if you ever see Corky hit his Q on me and it gives him vision, uh, you should check out the little icon. They've changed the eyes uh, from what they used to be. The same thing will be there if like a Caitlyn Trap hits you or something like that. It's not like a big change or anything like that, but I think I like the step they've taken here. It looks a little bit nicer. So I don't know, I just wanted to mention that because... We are on the PB here, of course, and I do like mentioning some of those things. And actually, we are level 6. Rams is ganking bot lane. I'm thinking if I could join this, that would be awesome. Let's get our gold card ready. Let's alt on in. And I'm going to Twitch here. I want to get this kill. Give me your life. Yeah, see you later. All right, now LeBlanc is here. And it looks like she will die to the Jin Fourth shot. Nice job. Okay, not too bad of a roam for us. And let's return to the mid lane here. We are going to miss some minions because they are going to the tower. But I'm hoping I can get back to lane at time to maybe get the siege. My wild cards won't be in range, I think. So, yeah, we are going to miss those. Let's get a ward here, though. And yeah, maybe get some of these. And yeah, maybe the first me melee minion here. Nope. Yeah, no, this is okay. 44 to his 48, but we got a kill. I'm very okay with this. Not a bad start for us at all. So, let's just go back to farming here. I think Corky went back to base, actually. That's what I would have done in his shoes. So, let's go ahead and try and push in. And I'm going to mess up some minions here, but not too many of them. We'll look at majority. Now we have a 1 CS lead. Okay, not too bad. And yeah, he is back with items. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing he just did and go back and get ourselves some items. As far as our itemization goes today here, guys, I'm thinking at some point today, I want to get a rapid fire cannon as one of my first three items. So I'll definitely be doing that at some point. But before then, our itemization kind of depends on the matchup. Like if we wanted, I mean, Lich Bane's almost always good. So I'm going to be getting this. And I think I'll also get cooldown boots because those are amazing on TF. Uh, control ward. And potions. So yeah, we'll go Lich Bane first, but past that, I mean, Luden's Echo could be really good if you're really ahead and want the burst. Rabadon's could be good if you just want extra AP. Hourglass could be really good if you need that extra armor and uh, active that it has. Even Abyssal's not too bad if you need the magic resist, but normally you don't need the magic resist STF. It's really uncommon you'll need that, so I think we'll go with probably Luden's second, but we will see. And didn't miss the siege. That's a feels good man moment. I like it. Okay, let's get uh, some of these minions here. 53 to his 62. So yeah, he's definitely got a lead on us now, but we're doing okay. And going to miss that one regardless of what we do, but I think we'd get all these. I was wrong, but most of them. Okay, scores 3 to 4. We're actually in the lead here by one kill. Not too bad. Corky is missing, but he's going to get his package right now. So I think what we want to do is push in and make him miss minions if he is back in the package. Because that's what I think he's doing. And I was hoping to actually get a blue card there, but then I missed the chance, so I'll slide a timeout. And actually, control words here, so I guess I may as well put mine on the top side. And Volibear's not been doing much. Volibear's normally one of those champions where he just ganks the overextended lanes and gets them really, really ahead really early. But I guess our team's playing really well against that because he just hasn't got anything done. He's been farming. And Volibear is not a farming jungler. I mean, he can farm, so like he can't. Like any jungler can farm. That's the entire purpose of them being a jungle. But normally, some junglers are more gank heavy and other ones are more farm heavy and he's normally one of the gank heavier ones. And it looks like Corky's going bottom here. My ultimate is almost up so I'll be able to match that pretty soon. And it looks like a kill coming out to Volibear. Nice job. And yep, there's the Corky. Uh, if he goes in, yeah, I'm, I'm here. Let's get our gold card ready. Let's ulti on in. I'm going to go for Corky, I think. Come on. There we go, we got him. I'll actually pop my ghost here because I think we might be able to get Twitch too if we got our team's help. Actually, is he going to kill us? Okay, not quite. I was thinking if I got the gold card, we get some follow-up, but I think our team is busy killing minions, but that's okay. Because we'll have another opportunity here in a second. But I will tax bot lane, because I did help them, and I want some minions for myself, too. But okay. <clears throat> Managed to kill Corky. We didn't get the kill, but he died, and we got an assist. So can't complain too much about that. We'll go back here and get ourselves the Aether Wisp. And also, I think... I kind of want to get refillable, but I like having the... Uh, Actually, no, this is a mistake. I should get refillable. I just, I like having biscuits. If you have the biscuit mastery, I just like taking advantage of that. But refillable is better for us this game because it will allow us to not have to buy potions anymore. And we're only going to buy two anyways, so, like, we're saving some money this way in the long run. And blue buff is something I'm definitely interested in. Let's do this. 
Okay, I'll get ourselves a blue card, I think. I was thinking about gold carding, but blue card is more damage. The less CC the card has, the more damage it does. That is the way it works. So blue card does the most. The slowing one, the AoE slow from the red card, has the, mo the, the most mediocre damage. In the, or not mediocre, that's the wrong word. Most median damage, like the most middle damage. And then the gold card, most CC, so it's going to have the least damage. We have Rammus coming in here. I wonder if we can make anything of this. Holy crap, he went so deep. Come on. We got him. Yeah, see, Rammus take the tower just long enough for me to follow that up and get ourselves a kill. But actually, LeBlanc's here. Uh-oh. I mean, she's only level 6, though. Alright, I'm just going to wait. Oh, nice, nice ult. Oh god, Rengar's here, though. Alright, let's just... I think I'm dead regardless of what I do here, so I'm just gonna let it happen. <laughs> There's not really much I can do about that one. Volver was on the way, Rengar ulted for me, LeBlanc was there. I think my best bet would have been just to fall in LeBlanc and try and kill her and then run up one of these two directions, but even then, I think I wouldn't have done it in time, I would have died regardless, so... Feels bad, man, but that's okay. But yeah, we still got the kill in Corky, so that's good. I like what his name's Diddy Kong, too. That's a cool name. Let's look at the other names. Testing Rengar. Yeah, well, you're doing pretty well. 6-2, and two, he's having a good game. Testing that Rengar and TSM Tyler 2-0-5. <laughs> uh, let's see. Broken God. Uh, yeah, we'll break you, that's for sure. Eero Maniac, cool name. I like the Diddy Kong still. And yeah, of course, we have our team that we listed off earlier. Okay, and Corgi's going to push us in here. Our ghost is almost up, though. Our ultimate is available. I think we should be all set. And actually, Rams is coming in. Let's pop our ghost here and just go ham for Corky. Yeah, sorry, Corky. I think you're a goner. But actually, he might just kill us. Got him. Yeah, I almost died. It was very, very close. If we do manage to survive the Corky assault. And Rams is looking for a fight here with both Volibear and Rengar. I'm not really a fan of this. Might be able to kill Volibear, though, because he's just so weak. But yeah, we will. Nice. All right, let's pop a potion again here. And see if we can continue pursuing the the Rengar. Because Rams is going for it. Oh, nope. Change of heart. But, you know, probably a good one. And actually, oh, I was really tempted because he does have blue buff. I really wanted that blue buff, right? So I'm like, if I can just land a gold card, I think I have the damage to do it. But he's just a little bit out of range. But if Rams goes for it, he did ping it. I am willing to follow up. Now, nah, let's just go for the tower. All right, I have no gold card for a few seconds here. Oh, maybe we got it? Please. We got him. Nice. I was really worried that maybe Rammus get the kill there, because he already has a blue buff. He doesn't need a new one. And oh god, Corky's here. If Corky pursues us, I have gold card. I don't think he's going to do it. He's not that manly. His manly years have passed him. He's an old man now. <laughs> okay. But now we're super low, and I don't want to give blue buff to Corky. I think I'll just leave. I'll take, I'll take the uh, wiser option here and go back. We don't need to be old to be wise, so we can be a young, hot TF with Blood Moon skin. Uh, that's a weird thing to say. Let's get Lich Bane. <laughs> and uh, for our next item here, guys, I am thinking, I don't know, like, I kind of want to get Hourglass because it would solve the problem of Rengar. But then again, we're just, we're doing well. And I kind of want to go with a move speed build because Lich Bane move speed, Luton's Echo move speed, Rapid Fire Cannon, I mean, it has other things as well, but it's also move speed. And I want to go fast. Going fast is fun. It looks like Ramus will be on the Corky here, doing nice damage. I wonder if going bot lane makes sense. But we did lose our tower. Maybe we should stay mid lane and get the tower here as well. I'm not sure. We have options. That's definitely the most important thing to keep in mind here. We have options. We just gotta decide which one's the best. That's the thing with League of Legends. A lot of players disregard. Yeah, skill's important. But what's more important? Making good choices. And I wonder if we can get this. Because, like, there's three of them in the river here. And I kind of want to help, but, like, I feel like he's kind of in over his head on that one. Corky has package. I'm kind of scared now, because if Corky has package and I'm all alone, he could just, out of nowhere, use that and kill me. Our team's here, but, like, our team's also an 05 Yasuo, who stole red buff from our jungler. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. It looks like they will get the kill here. Jin snagging that one, probably for the best. <laughs> oh, God, Corky's here. I think we're okay, though. I should probably get a ward over here, actually. I think our control ward did get taken out, too. See, I'll buy a new one of those soon. Yeah, I'll just let them push in mid here and then uh, catch the wave as it bounces towards me. Here we go. 
That was a very awkward amount of HP the minions had there, but luckily my red card does seal it. Alright, Corgi's still here with package. It's almost timed out though, I think. Actually, that's... Oh no, that is it. I thought that was like something else. Like, uh, what would it be? Like an elixir or something like that. That's what it kind of looked like, was the iron elixir. But then I was like, wait, like, why would he have an iron elixir? It's like 15 minutes. That doesn't make any sense. It's also Corky. Like, he's not going to get the tanky elixir. It's okay. I wonder if I can ask my team to help me with blue buff. Because, like, Rams is nowhere around. He's up top lane. And my bot lane is here. And, like, bot lane leashes early on in the game, so they can leash later on. Like, what's the difference? There we go. Thank you very much. Rengar's around, probably looking for that tasty TF booty. So we'll just go back mid lane and catch the wave again. Oops, messed up those, but I think we got these ones. Nice. Now I'll use that refillable. Alright, we have enough wards around that I'm pretty... Ooh, actually. I'm, not, I'm on the way. I have my ultimate. I'm gonna go with the brush here, because they won't be able to see me as easily. Oh, I missed the card. Oh, but I think we still got him. We got him. Okay, let's go this way. Come this way with me. No, no, no. This is a bad way. This is where the Rengar is. No, we don't want to go this way. We want to run away from their team entirely. Just ditch it. <laughs> oh, no, LeBlanc showed up. Okay, but I had the right idea, though. Running back this way where I knew Rengar and Volibear would be was not the right idea. We needed to go this way and have Ramus take the turret and just kind of escort ourselves out. Because, yeah, we might have run into their bot laners. But, like, we're Ramus and Ghost with... with or TF with Ghost. We would have outran them and gotten away and I think been a be in a better spot. It's okay though, we still got the kill on Corky. And looks like Bala managed to kill Twitch. But we do die to... Was it Rengar who got us? Or Volibear? I mean, LeBlanc got me, but like, who got Ramus? I think it was Volibear, because last I checked, Rengar only had 6 kills. Nice kill bot lane though, good combo. So we'll get ourselves these two items for our Loon's Echo. And we'll head back to the mid lane. And yeah, I think I need to be pressuring this tower. That would open up the map so much for us. Give us more plays to be made. Uh-oh, Volibear's there. I wonder if they can outplay this, though. It's very doable. Maybe, ooh. I was thinking maybe a flay the turret would be possible. With this extra AP, I think I should be able to... Yeah, I can one-shot the back minions now. That is so great. I love the way the cards look with the skin. They look so cool. Alright, let's just get some things in the river here. I probably should have gold carded it. But actually, Rengar's here. I think his ult's still down because he did just ult us. We got Corky with. Or not Corky. We got Ramus with us. Let's do this. Where's he at? Okay, but Twitch is here. And he, yeah, he just cleansed my gold card. So maybe not the best one to go off of. That's okay. And I think LeBlanc's looking for an opportunity of some sort. She will take some wild cards to the face, though. Ooh, and she got hit by Jin. Yep. <laughs> See you later. That's a lot of damage. That Lich Bane is so strong. Okay, and I think with us three bot lane, we should be able to get our first tower of the game. Because we are winning in kills, but we haven't been pressuring the map as much as we should be this game. So there we go. Got ourselves this tower here. And now let's go mid lane and see if we can get this one. They are all going after Yasuo, and if he's, like, getting their attention... We can use that as an advantage. Because, yeah, he's feeding. Yeah, he's kind of useless. But he's not actually useless because he's getting their attention. And their attention is then diverted from mid lane. So we can use that to get ourselves the mid lane tower. That's the thing with, pe with like, solo queue especially. People just regard as, yeah, maybe you have a feeder on your team. And that kind of sucks. But if you have a feeder on your team, like, at least he's getting their attention. You can go make plays other places. And nice try. Got the Corky's Valkyrie at least. Follow bears around. A blue card, actually. I want to get some mana back. Okay, and if anybody tries to stop us from getting this, I think we can just dive them because we have the CC to do it. Lost blue card, I think. Ooh, nice hook. Nice damage under her. Yep, she's gone. Let's gold card this guy. I my ghost here just kite around a little bit more. Alright, he's done. Come on, Corky. Alright, he's very low, but I don't have the ability to follow him up. But I think. Ooh, the Jin snipes. Rengar's just going to body block them, though. But that still should allow us turret. Boom. Okay, maybe two towers? Oh, God, please. Oh, so close. Oh, Rengar. There we go. I was thinking I needed a gold card, but then I realized, like, you know what? Any, any card's going to kill this fool. Let's just do it. There we go. 
two towers, puts us at eight and two. Not too bad, and I'll just ward this, because the trap doesn't give us vision, but definitely helps. And dragons up in 15 seconds, we'll definitely take that. But I think our team doesn't need our help. I'll go back here. <clears throat> I thought it was getting a little sore. Sick feels, but it's okay. We'll get ourselves the Ludens. And the zeal towards our rapid fire cannon, because I want to get this this game. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of LCS players have been getting it in their games. Apparently, like, Froggen was doing it when he was playing Twisted Fate. And it's not actually, like, <clears throat> good good. But it's kind of good, so you want to do it anyways, because it's fun. Because, <laughs> like, it's an attack speed crit item, but it increases the range, which you can utilize with your pick a card. And so that combo ends up being really fun. It's, it also adds burst. So if you add that with Lich Bane, like, this, the two of those together is just really good. And, yeah, be nice damage to the Fall Bear. I think his passive's down, so, yep, he's a goner. <clears throat> so get ourselves the Dragon. I think we should have this as long as we have Smite. Yep. Alright, sorry about that. <clears throat> I had to cough, and I figured I may as well mute my mic to make it a little bit less cringe for you guys. But, uh, surrender. Hell no. TSM Tyler 2, fuck off. <laughs> okay. And I think with that, you know, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a recording before. I'm going to go AFK and get a glass of water, because <laughs> I think I really need it right now. I will be right on back. Okay, and we're back. <clears throat> that glass of water is definitely going to help. Sorry about that, guys. So let's go out here and just drink up some water. And see who we can take out. <clears throat> I think I'll also plug in my headset. Just to avoid the possibility of it beeping at me for no reason. Well, it has a reason. It's a little battery. And hello, Corky. What do you think you're doing? I like how I missed my wild card, but it still worked. And actually, Rangar's here. Let's get this guy. Okay, maybe not so much. Oh, god, I got really scared of that bear. <laughs> Alright, there's one. What else can we do? Nice snipe. And I think Twitch is gonna slow down enough. And the taunt coming in here? Can I just gold card this guy? Yep, yeah, see ya. <laughs> okay. And the rest of their team is scattered. Could we just get this LeBlanc? Please? Not quite in time. I know Rengar's in their jungle here, or our jungle here somewhere. I'm just not sure where. But we found LeBlanc. I could use my ultimate here, but I'm more concerned with just killing LeBlanc, to be honest. Oh. Nice juke! 10 out of 10! <laughs> I wanted to put it in all chat like 10 out of 10, but you went. I don't even need to say it. She probably knows that was like the best juke ever. Alright, let's just kill the minion wave here. And I think we should be able to get this tower here too. It's pretty low. I just noticed as well we're actually tied with the Corky and farm. Oh, nope, now he's ahead of us, but it's fine. He's 0-5, we're 11-2, we're having a good game. And I wonder if Volibear's going to have backup here in a moment. Let's just finish the tower. Let's finish the tower first. Okay, and gold, or blue card, blue card Reggie. It's fine, we still got him. And we actually can get a rapid fire cannon now. I really want to make sure I do that this game, because if they surrender before I get my rapid fire cannon, I'm going to be really sad. LeBlanc's not going to be a problem, is she? Yeah, I want this cannon. Here we go. All right, and I'll sell the refillable. And work towards our next item, which I think will be the Rabadons, because you really can't go wrong with that. I mean, their team is just not strong. I mean, they have the Rengar, but I can easily just juke him around. So, yeah, I'll just get this. And Cork gets himself the first kill of the game. But then again, he got it on the <laughs> 08 now. Yeah, so, so. Yeah, it is what it is. 
know what's kind of funny too is this guy told us in pregame chat, yeah, I'm a Yasuo one trick. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. I think I've made my point. Let's just go ahead here and push up the minion wave. And that rapid fire cannon is just so fun. I love this item. It's so troll, yet so great. All right, and Rengar's pushing bot lane. I'm kind of worried about doing this, but I think defending this tower is doable for us and probably the way to go, but we will see. We have Thresh supporting us here soon. Expose the plant over the wall. And Rengar did actually back off. I wonder if he saw the TF presence on the way. Maybe he's in this brush. Nope. If I was him, I'd be looking for the kill on TF. TF's, yeah, see, there you go. And he's going to cleanse that. Well played. But... We have friends soon. Oh, you just outplayed yourself, friend. <laughs> you really messed that up. He could have actually killed me there if he just used his mechanics correctly, but he messed up, so free kill for us. Feels good, man. All right, let's go back. Sell ourselves the Doran's Ring. Tisk is right. Just when two came. That's why I stayed, friend. Because I have that, uh, that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? That in not, not instinct, but that reconnaissance of where my team's at to make plays accordingly. And the Blanc's probably just going to juke back. No, she didn't. Nope, she did juke back. Just not in the way I had thought about in my head. But let's get ourselves TP'd here. I want blue buff. Give me your <laughs> damage. <laughs> Rapid fire cannon and Lich Bane together is so fun. I love it. All right. And I was going to go get our blue buff because that's what I was planning upon doing before I TP'd in. But we already have one now because we killed the Blanc. So get rid of this. <laughs> And just go mid. Also, the Ludens proc did a lot of damage there, too. Yeah, all the bursts. <clears throat> Alright, more water. And down to bot lane we go. It looks like our team's winning the fight even without us there, but once we show up, we might be able to get ourselves so a kill on Volibear. I mean, he's probably gonna go behind the tower here, so I'll just wait for it. What's up, bro? That damage. See you later. Okay, and the tower here next. I mean, Rams is tank it, which is unnecessary, but like we can probably just get it anyways. And I shouldn't have gold carded; that's less damage. And this LeBlanc is. <laughs> oh, I messed up. We still get her. <laughs> I tried to time the wild cards, but I just I couldn't do it. But there we go. Rams lives as well, and we get the tower. All is going as planned. All is going well. I like it. And Corgi's got package, but like. Is he going to do anything with it? Alright, let's get a world of the corner here. Just make sure I'm not making a mistake. And see where he goes. Actually, we're sitting in this brush. See, I really want to wrap fire cannon. And just see how much my gold card will do. With, oh, maybe Twitch? Holy shit. <laughs> no, god damn it, Volibear. Holy shit, though. We basically just one-shot the Twitch. Our gold card is so much damage. And yeah, that's going to make them surrender. Come here, please, please, before the game ends. No, so close. All right, well, that's the game here, guys. Hopefully, you guys liked it. You have to do if you did, leave that like rating and subscribe for more videos. And let's check out the post game stats. Holy shit, though, that was such a fun game. I'm so glad we had that. All right, S on Twisted Fate times three. I like it. Uh, what, 17 and freaking two? What a game. Most gold in the game, but we are TF. We have that passive, so that is a factor. Most damage, though, that's a feels good man thing. And yeah, Rengar. Had the, I think, third most damage. Ramus was second. That's impressive that Ramus had second, because Ramus is, of course, our tank. Yeah. He went 7, 4, and 12, though. Really good score line. But pretty much full tank items. I mean, Sun... Sorry, Cinder Hulk is kind of like a Sunfire Cape, so it has that burn. And Iceborne has a Spellblade, so... Yeah, some damage, but... I'm kind of surprised, though, because with the Cinder Hulk, you normally want some HP items. But he didn't. He just went armor items, like no HP. So he wasn't actually that healthy. He was just more tanky from armor. But, uh, yeah, let's look at all the stats that are here. Like, uh, damage dealt. This is, like... I mean, this considers also, like, what damage you do to, like, minions and monsters. So, of course, the jungler's gonna have a lot. Uh, damage taken. Yeah, we had very little damage taken. Their Volibear had the most. No surprise there. That Rammus, then Rengar. That makes sense. I mean, the Rengar died six times, which isn't a ton, but it's still a decent amount. But, yeah, that's the game here, guys. Hope you guys liked it. You know what to do if you did. Like the video, subscribe. And, of course, uh, if you want to follow me on social media, so Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, all those links in the description below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. If you enjoyed the video here today and want to make sure you don't miss any new videos coming out, make sure to turn on all notifications for the channel. That way you miss no content. Have a good one, guys.